Uh, uh, since we've transitioned from Apple to Google, sounds like a perfect way to transition into tinfoil hat land. Uh, what do we think about the fact that Google broke Gmail last week? Uh, yeah. If you use the basic HTML feature, because you do things that you can only do in the basic HTML feature, all the autocomplete stopped working. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like... like it's, all right. What, what you have to, to... To use autocomplete in the Gmail web now now, you have to switch from basic HTML to standard view, do your autocomplete feature, then switch back to basic HTML, then reset basic HTML as your default thing so it knows not to log you into standard. It's like, it, it, it was working until I want to say Tuesday. It, it was, it was, uh, no, it was, it was just, let me see. It was broken on the 11th which was last Thursday. Last Thursday, Google broke Gmail. <laughs> um, it, it, it's like, like I said, the feature still works in the standard view, but for anybody either because they want to use tab browsing to browse their email, which only works in the basic HTML view, because you can't right click on those mail links in the standard view, because they're little dynamically generated iframes that don't have right click functionality. Um, <laughs> and so on and so on and so forth. You can't log into multiple accounts using anything with the basic HTML. And more and more, Google has been doing this. They, they have been removing features that work in basic HTML and breaking them in basic HTML because they want everybody on the standard view, but they refuse to add to the standard version the functionality that isn't there because of the way the code's different. And it, you know, it'd be easy enough to fix with adding a few lines of code to the standard view. And I would use the standard view if they had those few lines of code to the templates that generate it. But they don't want to do it. It's like, so if you want these features, use the basic HTML version. And if you want everything else, use the standard version. Oh, and by the way, all the advanced features that are in the basic HTML version, every three to six months, we'll remove another one. <laughs> so this is very tinfoil hat theory. I, I'm not, I, I, I don't know if Google's just screwing up or if they're doing it on purpose, but... I'm pretty sure that they're just screwing up. I don't think that it's, I don't see, I don't see Google as a company that really does, I've never really seen them do that before. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to fix the problem. Well, but see, you... Uh, go ahead. What, you were going to say something, uh, Leo? No. Oh, okay. I, I heard something somewhere. I guess it was an echo somewhere. <laughs> um, okay. Usually when a problem like this comes up, it's like, okay, everything's broke except for Chrome for one to three days. It's been one to three days, and it ain't fixed yet. You know, it, we're past the statute of limitations like, oh, we've updated YouTube and nothing works. <laughs> uh, which they do all the time. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's, uh, and, uh, you know, I, I'm honestly beginning to wonder on this if it's... Uh, I would like to lean towards the idea of it's an honest screw-up, but the increasing increment with which in the GUI of the web UI stuff and basic stuff like this working and then all of a sudden the next day not working at all because Google changed something. It's, you're like, who is beta testing this stuff? You know, you're honestly telling me with all the people and all the smart people that Google employs that they don't have the resources to go, okay, we have our 10 computers running various browsers and OS's, and let's make sure it works before we launch it live to the whole fucking world and break it. <laughs> You're honestly telling me Google does not have the resources to do that in some little corner office in the Google complex. But they have... Well, I mean, they don't have the resources, but... You know, it's, it's just sort of the Google style to release things as beta. Well, you know, and I would forgive Gmail if Gmail was still in beta. But like I said, they do this every six months with YouTube. And then everybody bitches. And they're like, oh, 
Yeah, we didn't think basic functions that everybody uses should be something we should make sure would work after the update. <laughs> I don't necessarily, you can't, I mean, I don't know if I could necessarily blame them. That's just a different style of releasing, you know. It, it, it might, it, you know, you ever heard of release early, release often programming? Uh, I've heard of it. I don't agree with it because it causes problems like this every three months and people get the perception that you don't work. <laughs> I'm well, fine for doing that in beta environments, but when you're doing, you're talking about good or bad, right or wrong, let's face it, the Google services have kind of become hubs on which average Joe Schmo depends. Gmail, YouTube, um, and other such services, you know, it, it, everybody uses them. Everybody has them. Uh, not 100%, not but enough people that this isn't like... This would be the equivalent to Thunderbird pushing out a push that, oh, by the way, Thunderbird doesn't work with IMAPs anymore. We're sorry, we screwed up, but six months down the road, we'll make IMAPs work again. It's like people would give up on Thunderbird overnight. They'd go to any well, other... It took, it took six months, yeah, but I mean, it, it hasn't taken six months yet. It's taken too long, but if it, if it, took, if it took a month, I'd be surprised. Well, well, we'll we'll see. It's like I I I would have rather given this more time, but if this isn't fixed by Christmas, I'm officially going to start raising pitchforks next year. <laughs> so just and, and honestly, the last feature like this that they removed from the basic version in Gmail never got put back. You know, the official solution when people were still bitching about it 90 days later from Google was. Well, we recommend that our users switch to the standard view. And, and there are several reasons you can't use the standard view because they refuse to add the functionality of the basic HTML to the standard view, I, I, which I've never understood. 